this is just the uh, it's the most impossible question and i'll and uh, it's important i'll take some comfort augustine um very very famous uh, person in the history of the church 400 years into the life of the church um said anyone who denies the trinity is in danger of losing their salvation but anyone who thinks they understand the trinity is in danger of going insane okay it's one of those things that's so core to who we are so the first thing i say about the trinity is it is core to who we are but it is completely unexplainable and there are some things about christianity that are that there are ways that people try and explain the trinity i'll mention a couple of those and then i'll share mine people often think of so the trinity is god as three persons and the, but the problem you end up with with some of these examples is you end up with like polytheism so people accuse christians of having multiple gods you have god as father son holy spirit separate people we go no they're the same person so then we use things like shamrocks you know with with three bits to them or another one that's popular is water you know you've got water steam and ice god is water steam and ice three three things the same the problem with those are actually it's all h2o um, and actually that's not quite what the trinity is the trinity is actually the same but different so the analogy i like the best is the one from c.s lewis about the trinity um, and it's that the, the trinity is as a measurement would be in space time and space is length depth and height they're different aspects but they relate to each other and exist together and even saying that you're probably thinking what on earth does that mean and that's how we need to think about the trinity some more